What's up guys, welcome to AB Auto and it is now day three of my first seven days of the CLA45S. Now today is gonna to be a good one because it's my first ever drive to work in the new car. So I'm gonna do my first long drive on my own and I thought I'd set the GoPro up, film it and give you guys my impressions of the car so far. I'm absolutely loving it by the way. Um, I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record in this video and keep telling you how much I love this car. But as you probably saw on my collection video, if you haven't seen the collection video, check it out. I fell in love with this car as soon as I saw it and it's just amazing and it just keeps getting better and better. It's, it drives amazing, it drives as well as it looks. And yeah, I'm taking you with me now on my first ever drive to work, which is gonna be more of a comfort review because we can't use the drive modes yet. So we can't go in Sport Plus, we can't go in Race yet, unfortunately, because we've still got to run the engine in. The first 1,000 miles is quite strict with this car, so you know, no high RPMs, no super high speeds or anything like that. But trust me, guys, once the engine's running, once we hit 1,000 miles, we're going to go mad. We're going to do Sport Plus, we're going to do Race, and we're taking you on some amazing drives. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for when we hit that 1,000 miles and the running period's over. But for now, I thought I'd take you on a drive and we'll talk about the comfort of the car and all its cool, useful features and just my overall experience and impression so far. It's a bit of a cold morning. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? I'm cold. I'm increasing the temperature to 21 degrees. <laughs> it works really well, it's so cool. I mean when you're in a new car, for your first few drives, it's like, where are all the buttons? You don't really know, you're not as familiar. So I find myself using the voice assistants, but my experience in the past with voice systems is I ask them to do something and they do the complete opposite. But this system is really, really good. Hey Mercedes, turn on the heated seats. Seat is on. <laughs> nice. So now we're going to get nice and warm because it's absolutely freezing today. Uh, roads are a little bit icy, but it's looking like it's going to be a nice day. So I'm not just going to do a drive to work in this video. At lunchtime, we're also going to take the car out to a cool spot and we're going to shoot some cool photos and I'm going to get the video camera out. I'm going to do some nice video. So you'll get a little behind the scenes in this video, video too. I'm going to show you how I produce some of my content, like those epic B-rolls of the car. And I'm hoping the sun will come out because if the sun comes out, we can see what this matte paint looks like with a bit of sun ray on it. Um, we're kind of at that winter time now where you get these really low suns and it is a bit of a nightmare for filming because of the camera settings and there's too much light coming in but I think it's going to look incredible on the CLA45S with the matte paint. We'll see if we can get a little bit of shine. So stay tuned guys because at the end of this video we're going to be taking the CLA out for that video shoot and I'm going to hopefully have some really awesome b-roll of the car. Hey Mercedes. Turn off the heated seat. Seat heating is switched off. Ah, it's like having your own personal assistant in the car. Okay, so we are just cruising along now in comfort mode and yeah, it's pretty comfortable actually. Um, you know, I'd love to be in race mode, racing down this road now, having a blast with a smile on my face, but you know, this car kind of does it all. And uh, coming from the C43, it's, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a good daily driver, to be honest. Um, we've got the AMG Performance seats, which are a little bit hard. You know, they're not as comfortable as the C43 soft seats, for example, but as a driver, I think I'm gonna be more comfortable in these seats because they hold you in place so well. And, you know, if you're driving a car and you're flying around in the seat and you're, not, you're just not held in tightly and snug, you're constantly gonna be engaging your core and you're gonna get back aches. And I feel like these seats are gonna just keep me in place at all times, which is gonna make it way more fun to drive too. Cause when I go around corners, I can be really focused. And yeah, I'm really happy with the AMG Performance seats. Time will tell how comfortable they are. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll probably do a full video just on the seats. But for now, I'm really happy with them. And yeah, I'm sitting here, I'm super comfortable. Oh, even in comfort mode, this car just wants to go. Like I just put a little bit on the throttle and if I go a little bit far, then it just gets ready. I can just tell like every, no matter what drive mode you're in in this car, it just wants to go like a nutcase. Oh, see it's just, and also as well, 
you know, we're running the engine in and we've got to keep the revs below 4,000, the RPMs below 4,000. But because the car's so quick, I'm still driving relatively quick and driving faster or keeping up with all the other cars on the road. Because you don't really need to add much throttle to hit the speed limit. And also, can I just say, this RPM, this digital RPM counter is really cool and I'm finding it really helpful for running the engine because I can just look down at a glance and I've got big numbers that tell me exactly what RPM I'm in. I've, I've never had a digital RPM readout before, not in numbers anyway. So yeah, they've made some real improvements on the digital dash from the C43. Like it just seems to have loads more screens, loads more options. We're definitely gonna have to do a video going through the new screen and all the new options. I'll try and do like a really high quality overview of the whole MBUX system, but I think I might do a video just focused just on the digital dash because it's just awesome. One other thing I'm really excited about too is when you buy a new AMG, you get a free AMG track day at Mercedes World. And what that is, is you sit down in the car with an AMG driving specialist and they have this cool track circuit. You know, you can go around the track, get used to the handling of the car. You know, they talk you through, tell you about the car, really kind of teach you all the good stuff about the car. They have like a bit where you, they have like a strip where you can test the brakes. So you go up to like 80 miles per hour and then they say, slam your brakes on and then you can just be blown away by how quick the car stops. Um, I can imagine it's going to be incredible in this car because the brakes are ginormous. <laughs> um, well, the brake calipers anyway. But one, one thing they do have, which I'm really excited about, is they have a drift circle. And what it is, it's basically a giant roundabout that's, it, that's like a synthetic surface that mimics ice, and it's got water streams on it, so it's constantly wet. And you can just take the car around it and drift, so they teach you how to drift. And this car has drift mode, so it's gonna be so fun taking this car around the drift circle. So I'm gonna try and get that booked in quite soon actually or I might wait until the summer and I'm definitely going to bring you guys with me I'm going to see if I can get James to come and film the whole thing so I want you guys to be part of the experience and it's going to be a really good opportunity to see exactly what this car is capable of and let's face it it's just going to be tons of fun so that's a video to look out for guys and to look forward to sort of coming later later next year I'd say um, but yeah it's going to be an absolute blast So just kind of cruising on this road now, um, this car cruises really well. If I let go of the steering wheel and sort of hold it with one hand, the steering is definitely a lot more tighter than the C43. I almost feel like I don't want to hold it in one hand because it's, it's so tight, but that's kind of a good thing really because that means when you're going around bends, you just feel so grounded to the road. And you know, I've been driving this car in comfort mode. I haven't really used any of the sport modes yet. And the grip and just the whole overall tightness of the steering is absolutely insane. Like going around roundabouts, I can I feel like I can just go around the roundabout as fast as I want and it's so easy to keep in lane because the car is just so planted and the steering is so direct. I mean, in Sport Plus mode or just more the more sporty setups, it gets even tighter. So I just, it's gonna be unreal the handling of this car. And then you've got the rear diff as well, which is, to be honest, the party piece of this car. Um, the Mercedes uh, Formatic Plus four-wheel drive system is able to distribute 100% or any percent power to the rear wheels. So if you're coming up, for, if you're going around a corner, for example, and you get a little bit of understeer, rather than slow down, if you hit the throttle and accelerate, the car, will, the computers in the car will work out exactly how much power to put to each wheel. To, to kind of correct you. So it's this strange sensation where if you ever feel like you're losing a control a little bit or you're understeering, the more you accelerate, the more control you have of the car. Now, it, it took me a little while to get used to when I, when I had the yellow CLA45S, the test drive model. But once I got used to it, it was incredibly fun and I just felt invincible going around roundabouts. Now, obviously, invincible is, is quite a, hard, a high word. You've got to be careful, but it's, it's, it really is the party piece of this car and it's really what made the car stand out the most to me against, say, the C43. I just, just the handling is just so tight and the rear diff is amazing. I'm going to be exploring the rear diff a bit more, you know, and we'll, we'll really put it to its pace and I'll try and really show and explain it to you guys in, in a separate video. So, because it is, it is a really cool system and the Formatic Plus system on a whole is incredible because you can go from being a front wheel drive car to a rear wheel drive car to a 50-50 four wheel drive car. I mean, it can pretty much do anything, which means the car is capable for any driving situation. It's really remarkable how far the 
the four wheel drive systems have come in cars and you know once they started putting four wheel drive systems in performance cars that's when things just got really fun because you've just got the unlimited traction but you can still get that feeling of a rear wheel drive car because it can just distribute the power to the back if it wants so I had to accelerate a little bit there because I realised that I'm having so much fun chatting away and talking about the car that my, my drive to work is going really quickly. Uh, so we're coming off at our junction now and I almost missed it. So I was like, I'll just get ahead. But yeah, so four wheel drive system in this car, absolutely incredible. Definitely going to make some more content on it. So the matte paint looks absolutely incredible, right? I was absolutely blown away when I unveiled it in the showroom with all those lights and then when we got it outside and a little bit of the sun hit it, it looked really nice. It's so unique and it's, it's, it's one of the things people have mentioned first about this car because you know this car looks incredible on its own but people are really drawn to this matte paint because it's, it's unusual in a way and it really stands out. And I think it looks particularly good on this car because you've got all the gloss black trim so it contrasts really well. But how is it holding up so far? So, um, yeah, I mean, when we left the dealership, it absolutely hammered it down with rain and then it continued to hammer it down with rain. But I really wanted to drive the car. So I ended up driving through crazy rain and there was quite a lot of traffic as well because it was near the end of the day and the car got quite dirty quite quickly. Um, but the paint so far is not really showing the dirt as much. But this was just like a lot of dirty water. so. We're gonna to have to wash the car soon, actually. So we're definitely gonna film the first wash of the car. I've, I've already invested in some matte specific products. So I'm looking forward to filming the first ever wash for you guys, but I will also be documenting everything with the matte black, the matte paint. I think um, when I bought this car, I was doing as much research online as possible because I wanted to see just if the matte paint was gonna be a massive pain or if it was gonna be okay. and. I'm not going to lie, I saw a lot of mixed opinions and I couldn't really get a fully grounded answer. So I thought, oh, just get the matte paint and then I can make some really good videos sort of being honest about what it's like. And then when people are thinking about getting it, then hopefully my videos will be really helpful. So I'm really, really hoping that I can do some great content covering um, the maintenance and just daily life of having a matte car. I'm also going to be working with a team of professional detailers and we're going to be doing some videos together on how to maintain and take care of the matte car. So hopefully there'll be some really good educational content on the matte paint. But guys, so far, matte paint is still looking really good. I think this is going to look good even when it's dirty. One of the other things I need to do with this car is I need to get a really good dash cam setup. I want to get a front and a rear dash cam and I want to get one that does a proper parking mode. So the car is constantly recording when you're parked. So, um, if anyone hits the car, then I've got that evidence there and I want to get it set up with its own external battery. I think I can get it so that it will record constantly for three days flat. And then every time you drive the car, it recharges it up so it can record for another three days. So essentially the car is going to have 24 seven surveillance. Uh, so once I find that dash cam and get it all hooked up, I'm going to review it and share it with you guys. Cause I know there'll be a lot of people out there that will be really interested in getting something like that on their cars. Cause it's so important these days to protect yourself. So guys, we're almost at work now. Sorry it wasn't the most exciting drive, but I promise you guys, once the engines run in, we're gonna be ripping up the roads in Sport Plus and race mode. We're gonna be trying to get some pops and bangs from the exhaust. It's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. So I'm gonna be getting those miles in and driving as far as I can, just so I can get that thousand miles down as soon as possible. Um, and also guys, I put the video up with Becky and we said if that video got 200 likes, once we hit a thousand miles, we'll do launch control. And you guys are absolutely incredible. The video hit 200 likes um, on its first night. And I got up in the morning and I said to Becky, I said, well, the video's already got 200 likes <laughs> and you should have seen her face. But she was so pleased that you enjoyed the video as well, guys. Um, it was so it was so fun having Becky on the channel. You know, she's she's so supportive of my YouTube channel, and and she you know she has to put up with a lot of she has to put up with a lot with me buying these cars, and uh, and you know I do spend a lot of time on YouTube channel, so she's an absolute champion, and I'm sure she's going to follow through, and it's going to be absolutely absolutely hilarious launching her. So I'll get that video up. That'll probably be the video I make first when I hit a thousand miles. So thank you so much guys for voting and watching that video. So guys, if all goes well, 
the video should be jumping now to me at lunchtime where I went out and I filmed some epic videos with the car and then also a cool photo shoot as well. So we're going to be, um, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the process behind the scenes, which hopefully you guys find interesting. But hey, fingers crossed, the video will flip now to me taking some cool videos. Okay guys, I just could not resist. It's so sunny. I had to come out at lunchtime and shoot some awesome footage with the CLA 45S. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this camera all the way out from around this corner here. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go all the way around the car and it's gonna look incredible. Okay guys, I've now taken the camera off the gimbal and we're gonna be doing some awesome photos for Instagram. So there we have it guys, that is my first drive to work in the CLA 45S. Thank you so much for joining and tagging along. Um, I'm really enjoying making videos with this car and I know I keep saying it, but I'm absolutely loving it so far. I worked so hard to get this car and it's just putting a massive smile on my face finally having it to drive and also just to have that platform to make these videos and share it with you all and talk about it. So, you know, if you've got any questions about the car or if you just want to say, hey, post in the comments, I'm, I promise I'll get back to absolutely everyone and reply to all the comments. It's been crazy and there's so many comments. So I think I'm going to have to just sit down for a couple of hours on the weekend or sooner if I can. And I, I promise I'll go through it and I'll reply to every comment because I love reading my comments and I appreciate you all so much. So if you enjoyed this video guys, hit that like button and so much CLA 45S content coming on the way. And also we have not forgotten about the C43. I've got an incredible C43 video coming out hopefully next week, which I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. So yeah, if you, if you don't wanna miss out, hit that subscribe button. But thanks again guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.